Hi everybody and welcome to the fundamentals of using ProBuilder tutorial. In this video we're just going to take a look at the basic um, workflow and usage with ProBuilder. Nothing too complicated. We'll get into that further on in the geometry editing and UV editing tutorials and all the other bits of course as well. So the core of ProBuilder is the two basic modes and you're always in one or either of these, uh, one or the other of these. So uh, if you click on any ProBuilder object, once you select it, you'll see up at the top the mode indicator. And as this shows, you have either object mode or element mode. Object mode is the standard Unity editing, uh, essentially top level mode. You're doing uh, just a general rotate. Uh, scale or move of any object, whether it's a ProBuilder object or a Unity object. There's really nothing special going on here. You do have a couple options that you can use, flipping the normals or subdividing the entire object at once, etc. Uh, but generally this is just standard Unity editing mode and doesn't really have uh, any special features within ProBuilder. So the next mode, of course, is element mode. And you can move into this by clicking on the mode indicator and back to object the same or you can use uh, go directly into any one, one of the element modes by clicking on the uh, element mode icon in the main ProBuilder GUI panel. So here in element mode is where ProBuilder uh, really comes into play and you can start editing uh, any of the individual elements. And elements, if you're a 3D Studio Max user, just think sub-objects. It's the same exact thing. You have vertices, edges, and faces. And of course, you can do all sorts of edits within these modes. It's basically just uh, your way of, you know, building and editing geometry here. As you might have noticed, the GUI panel will also dynamically change to fit based on what you're currently editing or the mode or submode or element that you are editing, as well as the actual selection. So if you don't have enough edges selected to do an edge connect, it won't show up, but once I do, I can connect those edges and so forth. So it's a much smarter, much uh, more useful GUI that will show all the information currently available, but nothing that you don't actually need. We know it's a little bit uglier than the old version, but we'll, uh, we have some plans to make it uh, to pretty it up. But generally speaking, uh, usability is way, way up and it's, it's great. We hope everyone really likes that. So this is geometry editing, and again, we'll get into that in the geometry editing creation tutorial. The other half of ProBuilder, of course, and also very important and much improved in 2.3 is the UV editor. So at any point, you can click on the UV editor tool button there and pop open the actual UV editor. So here's where you can uh, change and edit all the UVs on your model, essentially changing how the materials and textures are placed upon there. Uh, you can use the standard old method which we now call auto UVs so I can move these around I can rotate I can scale etc and those are going to basically take care of themselves and again we'll get into that more in the actual UV editor tutorial just to make a note you can also take any number of UVs and then also convert them to manual mode where you can edit them very similar to how you would uh, in the same 3D Studio Max or Maya uh, so that you can fully manually unwrap these. We've got planar unwrapping options and box and all sorts of fun stuff here. So definitely uh, take a look at those and we'll look into that further in the actual UV editing tutorial. Um, also part of this tutorial is to note that the elements will follow each other so you can see exactly what you are selecting and editing between these modes it all follows very nicely. Let's, oops, select that there. And it follows in the scene view. So these elements are always shared and that's again why we only have the two modes, object mode and element mode. And that's the basic usage of ProBuilder. You can hit escape at any point in time. I'll do it right now to exit back to regular object level mode. And then I'd also like to point out a couple extras here. Uh, make sure that you're checking out the other tutorials we have on things like the Shape Creator, which allows you to create all sorts of uh, different well shapes and such, of course, procedurally. Uh, anything from cylinders to stairs, doors and such. Uh, there's also the Handy Material Palette, the Vertex Colors, Smoothing Groups, all sorts of great things here. Uh, and then, of course, the Entity Types, which are really, really useful if you're setting up special colliders or triggers, uh, moving objects, all sorts of things there. And we'll cover that in the Entity Types uh, tutorial series or tutorial videos. 
So thanks for watching. I think this concludes the fundamentals of ProBuilder. Let us know if you have any questions or think we need to cover anything else. Uh, but first, of course, be sure to view all the future uh, or the more detailed and complex tutorials on the uh, geometry, UV editing, and so forth. So thanks for watching and see you in those future tutorials.